Watch you guys got another video on Windows 11 or Windows 10 group policy tips and tricks. So what is a group policy? Well, group policy is a powerful operating system feature that allows an administrator to manage features for users and machines in a domain environment or even in your home. If you wanted to set it up, you can do. So this is the group policy editor for a home user we're not going to be covering the domain side of things which is for businesses we're going to be sticking to the local group policy editor for windows 11 but you can use this on windows 10 as well so the commands i'm going to show you and some of the tricks i'm going to show you you can use this even on a domain uh, group policy if you wanted to but we're going to go ahead and set this one up on here so this will allow you to put a load of settings to basically turn off a lot of features that you might not be interested in that might also cause a lot of utilization on your system. You could just turn them off and disable them. And I've showed you how to do that in videos. But before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you set up your account, you can buy now and you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales. So once you've added your promotion code and you've created your account, what you can do here is submit your order. You can pay by PayPal, which gives you that added security. They will then send you your key and you can then go ahead and activate your version of Windows just like you see here on the PC. Okay, so let's get back to the tutorial. First off, we're gonna type CMD in the search box here and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt and you want to type this command here, gp result space forward slash r space forward slash v, push enter, and this will get some operating system information for you. It does take a bit of time, but it will pull this all up and you'll see a long list of all of the policies that have been set on that computer. This is quite useful because these policies have been set on the PC, and if you need to disable one of them or uh, enable one of them or even remove them or even back them up you can do so you can see them all from here which can be very very useful and again if you can't remember what policies you've set on this computer and you're having issues gaining access to something because it's blocked you can use this to see if there is policies set in place for that particular thing that you're trying to do on that computer once it's finished its scan you'll see a big long list here and you can see this is the long list that it's come up here for all of the policies that have been put on my computer, which is a Windows 11 PC, which means all of the uh, fluff and bloat and all the other rubbish that I don't need, I turn off in group policy. Next, you can do it inside PowerShell. Now, PowerShell is very powerful, and I'll show you how to get a long list inside PowerShell. Just type PowerShell inside your search box, and then basically run this as administrator, you will then see something like this. You can then put in here GP result, just like before, space forward slash, and then do uh, scope, and then space user, then space forward slash V. And this will give you all of the group policies that have been set for that user, not the computer, for the user itself. And it will give you a long list of all of those listed here if you'd like to use PowerShell. It does take a bit of time to populate. If you don't have a lot of user policies in place, then there won't be a lot here. But if you have set a lot of user policies, they will all be listed right here, easy to find, and you can quickly tell what policies have been put into place. So what about computer? So let's clear the screen by typing CLS, and we're gonna type in another command for the computer. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All you need to do is GP result, same as before, space forward slash scope. So just quickly type this out. And then all you need to do is do a space and then computer like so, and then space forward slash V and then push enter. And this will give you all of the group policy results for the computer itself. Now there's gonna be a few more on the computer because I've set quite a few for the actual computer and it will give you the long list right here so this is quite useful to know if you want to see all of these for the computer that would be the command that you can do inside of the actual uh, powershell and of course you can do whatever you like with this information you can export it to a document or whatever you like so next up we're going to go to the start button right click on it and go to run 
and we're going to be using the resultant set of policy, which is RSOP for short. And this has been in, built into Windows since Windows 7, right up until Windows 11. So type in here RSOP.msc and push enter, and this will do a scan on your PC. Now, when this is completed its scan, it will open up and it will look like the group policy editor itself, but it isn't. It's a different type of thing. What it's done is it scanned your PC and put all of the results right into this nice little handy window here. These are all the policies that have been set in place for your computer. You can navigate to a location, just like say here, administrative templates, Windows components, and all of these are policies that have been set on this computer. So what we can do here is I can click on these and I'll quickly show you exactly what it looks like. So when I click on this, you will see that all the policies have been set in place. Now you can't add or do anything like that to this location because this is not actually the group policy editor. It's the resultant uh, set of policy. And you can see these are all our policies right here. And again, you can go to actions and back up these or export these if you wanted to, to a HTML file or whatever it is you like to do. So if you're being blocked from uh, doing something on your computer and you've set some policies and you can't remember, you can use this method to find these policies and then weed them out and basically change them. Now on closing, it will say save the console settings to rsop.msc. And I'm going to say no here, but you can do whatever you like there for yourself. Now, one last thing, let me just quickly open this up here and back up all of the group policy uh, settings that we have. So let me go ahead and create a folder inside my C root directory. Now you will need to make sure that you go to the three dots here, go to options and show hidden files, folders and drives here because obviously the group policies will be hidden to you. So let me just go ahead and put the radio button in there. Right click and go new folder. You can put this folder wherever you like. I'm going to put it in the C root directory and I'm going to call this uh, GPO space backup and this will all be all of the backups for the policies that I have set in place. So now I've got that done, all I need to do is go to this PC here, and I can go to the C drive, I can go to Windows and System32. Once I go into System32, I'm looking for the Group Policy section. So let's come down here, and we're looking for the Group Policy. You can see Group Policy Users and Group Policy. So there's nothing in group policy users, but there is inside group policy. So let me go back into group policy. And the, here we can see we do have for user and machine. So these are user and machine policies. So you can copy these uh, where we want to do control uh, C to copy, or you can right click and you can copy like this. And you can copy these to your other directory so you can keep them safe. So when you ever need to put these back, you can do if you've got a new system, you can just inject these back into the system. You can also do a backup inside the uh, PowerShell window if you wanted to and export those to a HTML file. And they'll have some options for other file types that you can uh, back up those to as well. So now we have those files there backed up. You can see that is all of the policies that I've set up on this system. And that is it. So let me just quickly show you here the actual group policy editor. If you go inside the group policy editor here, this is the actual group policy editor for Windows 11. You will need to have Windows 11 Pro and above, and that's the same for every version of Windows. If you go to the administrative templates and settings, or all settings, I should say, and then go to state, it will show you all of the policies that you have set in place here as well. And these are editable. You can edit these and back up and save these if you wanted to. Now, if you're on a Windows uh, 10 home or Windows 11 home, then you really want to start thinking about upgrading to Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro so you can gain access to the group policy editor. And this is going to allow you to turn off a bunch of features that you don't need on that PC, which will make it a lot better for you and make it less bloated. Don't forget, drop a comment down below in the comment section. I do like reading your comments and also drop a like on the video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Also, have a lovely weekend and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.